My name is Ryan from grade 1A. My story name is The Cat and the Fox. A cat and a fox were discussing about house. A cat say, I have hounds. There are very nasty animals. They hunt and kill us. A fox say, I hunt house more than you. The cat asked, How do you solve yourself from a house? The fox replied, There are so many tricks to get away from house. I can hide in burrows, I can run along, and I can hide behind thick buses. What about you, cat? What is your trick? Cat answer. I only have one trick. A fox say, Oh, so sad. What is your trick, cat? Cat tried to answer. She looked. Hounds is coming. She said, I'm going to do it now because a hound is coming. The fox tried all his tricks. The cat said, My one trick is better than all his tricks. That's all my story about the cat and the fox. Thank you. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Muhammad Raka Fadilan. Class 1A I will tell you about, about the story The Wolf and the Stork A long time ago, the wolf and the stork were friends One day, the wolf asked the stork to come to his house to eat When the stork arrived at the wolf's house, the wolf put two bowls of soup the wolf on the table. The wolf ate his bowl of soup so quickly. When he finished eating, he asked the stork, Did you like my soup? But the stork was angry because he couldn't eat the soup. His beak was too long. When the stork went home, he was still hungry. The wolf laughed and laughed. The stork had an idea. He asked the wolf to come to his house to dinner. When the wolf arrived at the stork's house, the stork filled two tall pitchers with good soup. They begin to eat. Well, when he finished eating, he asked, he asked the wolf if he wanted more to eat. But, but the wolf was angry. He, his mouth was so big, he couldn't get it into the pitcher. When the wolf went home, He was still hungry, and the wolf and the, the stork laughed and laughed. The stork and the wolf never been friends ever since. The moral message, every bad action will result in a bad anyway. So, please be kind to everyone. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Arjuna from 1A class. Today I'm going to telling you story. Story about Pickaboo What in the Forest. Are you ready? Let's go. Pickaboo What do I see? I see the monkeys. 
They are playing in the forest. They are playing high and seek. But with who? Peekaboo. What do I see? I see the hippos. They are hiding in the pond. Peekaboo. What do I see? I see pandas. They are hiding in the tree. Peekaboo. What do I see? <gasps> I see the lions. They are hiding in the bushes. Peekaboo. What do I see? I see elephants. They are hiding in the river. And now I have found the monkey, hippo, panda, lion, and elephant. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Gwen. I will tell you a story about a peacock and a crane. Once, there was a beautiful peacock in the woods. Wow, peacock! Your feathers are so beautiful! Colorful and shiny! Aren't they gorgeous? Yes, they are! I wish I could have colorful feathers just like you. <laughs> Only I, the peacock, can have these beautiful feathers. Don't even dream about it. Hmm, la 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 la. Ha, huh, what a show off. The peacock went to the riverside for some water. Who is that? A long neck and cool legs. But I don't like the feathers though. Hi, who are you? I never seen you around. I am a crane. A crane, huh? I'm a peacock. I have feathers. That are shiny and gorgeous. All right, they look good. And walk along the river. Ha! Huh, she wasn't even surprised. Look at all this color of the rainbow on my feathers. What's wrong with yours? They look gray and dusty. You are very beautiful. But I don't envy you at all. What? Don't lie. How could you not envy these beautiful feathers? I can fly up into the sky with my wings. I travel around the world. And go wherever, whenever I am. Oh, 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 I see. What can you do with those feathers? Grooming and showing up? What else can you do? It seems you look good. On the outside, but not inside. Cock? Felt so shame. He folded his feathers. Oh, the moral of this story is to be grateful 
for what you really are. Never jealous of somebody else. Because everyone has their own uniqueness. Thank you for listening to the story of the peacock and the crane. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Hanaya. Today I want to story. I want to tell you a story about the little giraffe big idea. Far, far away in the savanna, there a little giraffe. There a little giraffe name is Gogri. This is Gogri, guys. Say hi, Gogri. Hi. Gogri is so sad. All the animals play with their own kind, and Gogri has no giraffe friend to play with. Like deer with a deer, lion with a lion, elephant with an elephant, and a rhino with a rhino. But Gogri has a big idea. Poha is just like, like a, the other animal. The other, the other animal want to play with Gogri. Gogri dressed up like an ostrich. Hi, ostrich. Can I play with you? Nah, you're not a real ostrich. You're a giraffe anyway. You can catch up with us. You're too slow. But Gogri has another big idea. Poha, he dressed up like a rhino. Rhino want to play with Gogri. Hi Rhino, can I play with you? No, you're not a real Rhino. You're a giraffe anyway. You're not strong enough. You, you, you can't wrestle with us. You're not strong enough. Poor, poor hair, Gogri just up like a crocodile. Crocodile want to play with Gogri. Hi, crocodile. Can I play with you? No, you're not a real crocodile. You are giraffe anyway. Giraffe are terrible swimmer. Perhaps Gogri just perhaps Gogri just up like a run, like a lion. Lion want to play with Gogri. Hi, lion. Can I play with you? Raw. You're not a real. Lion, you are a giraffe. Anyways, you're too tall high in the grass with us. You might scare our lunch. Perhaps Gogri dress up like an elephant. Elephant want to play with Gogri. Hi, elephant. Can I play with you? All the elephants laughing at Gogri. Ha, 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 You're not a real elephant. You're a giraffe anyway. You look ridiculous. Gogri is so sad. Only animals don't want to play with me. But in the evening, Gogri, Gogri sees a strange giraffe that he ever sees. But it's not a giraffe at all. All the animals dress up like Gogri, and they play together. Da da! I I hope you enjoy the story. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. My name is Adriana Maximus. You can call me Odi. I am seven years old. My breath is 1B. I want to tell you the story the giant pyramid. Are you ready? The giant pyramid. I'm Nadia. I have a big family. I have a little sister. I don't 
have any food, Olga. Sorry. It's okay, Olga. Look, the corn is very big now. Let's eat. That's my dad. Can I help you, Dad? Yes, please. This turnip is very big. This is my brother, Yuri. I have three brothers. This is turnip is very big. Where are you, brothers? Sergey, Mikhail, come here. Nadia. Can I help? Here's my grandpa. I'm here too. And my grandma. And my dog. Puff, puff. And my cat. Meow. Meow. And my cow. Moo. Sit down, grandma. Nadia, don't. 